Entertainment, baby. Every UK DJ needs to have this track and I want to hear it in every I love I like to go clubbing guys so I need to hear it in the clubs because I want to twerk you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I I, I, I I got the video every day so. <laughs> I like to twerk so you know I had to hear that song no hold tight and DJ Neptune and hold tight files as well man how is it like working with files I'm so in love with it man your files files is files is like one of my best buddies right nice. now because you know I mean uh, we've we've worked on a couple of songs. I featured him on some of my material. He's featured me on some of his material, and he's a really, really, really amazing artist. Nice. You know, he he pushes the bar with his his craft. He's he's not. There's not too many like files. You know, he infuses comedy into that definitely hip hop. Yeah, it, it, it's a breath of fresh air. And, and he's know. got so much character, right? <laughs> yeah. Which is what you have. So that's why we all everyone that's listening right now. I want you guys to embrace this character called YC. Can we know more about YC? Because I'm so like what um hold tight added sope by the way. What he sent to me, like your history background, I love it so much. So can we actually have an introduction of who YC is? Um YC is a young rap musician from Lagos, Nigeria. Uh born in nineteen ninety-three. Uh my birthday was yesterday. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! <laughs> 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 and you know, uh, I say rap musician a lot because uh, I don't. I don't think the rap community in Nigeria has accepted me that much. I won't. I won't say they've turned their back on me, but mm. you know, a lot of people think because of the fact that most of the music that you know I put out, I like to do dance music because I like going out to clubs. And yeah, there you I would go. Love you to know turn mean? up to my own music as well, and I just think music is too big to say you're a rapper and you're only going to make rap music there you go so i'm a rap musician because i rap i sing i do all kinds of music any kind of music i enjoy i try to recreate it and make you know just make music generally and uh, i like that about you man i yeah. can't lie and you've got a crazy style as well yeah like I'm, i know you guys can't see but i'm feeling the hairstyle you know what i mean yeah, I just what died. is it with the brown hair dye that everyone's going for is it, is it, you know, I was trying. The funny thing was, I was trying to go for like some like platinum blonde, or you ah. know, just, but I don't know. Somehow, it looked somewhere. it looked like chestnut blonde. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every time I go on Instagram live, you know, someone's always like, "Why is your hair looking like Cheetos?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I mean, for me, it's it's, it's something I've always wanted to do. Yeah. I've actually like painted my hair green, and yeah, I think it was in December or early this year. So it's it's uh, for everyone that's you know wondering. It's something I'm going to be doing a lot. I'm going to be changing my hair color. There you go. What yeah. defines your style, though? What defines my style? I'd like to say my versatility. Yeah. Because you know I, I I just my music is always different. Every time I go into the studio, yeah, I like to make something different. Yeah. From the last time I was in the studio. Mm. So that's that's just it for me. Like you know I wouldn't want to do. You know, lightning doesn't strike the same place. Same oh, place twice. I love that quote. So I mean, you know, I just I have to make sure everything because you wouldn't want to be like an artist that your first hit song sounds like your second hit song sounds like your third hit song. So Which like, tends to happen quite a lot. Yeah. Right? So it's like you're moving in one direction, but when you know you have a Jagaban, you have an Omar Alaji, you have in the band. It's hey. like yeah. 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 we're gonna be talking about that actually yeah. i do want to play uh quickly omar alaji oh my god guys yeah. remember that Who's time when daddy? the song <laughs> came out everybody yeah. went Man. mad everyone <laughs> and we're gonna also discuss after this song about your tour which yeah. is very very important yeah. because everybody needs to be there like literally it's such a highlight and it's, it's an honor for you to be in the uk to actually brace us with that that, that your music like literally oh my god i'm such a fan oh <laughs> so guys this is omar yc hope you guys enjoy it tiny entertainment baby this uk tour let us know more about the tour why do you why did you decide to come to the uk i mean it's been a year since i was here last last time i was here was in january and like i just said the very first interview i had in the uk 
was actually with you over the phone. Oh! Yeah. That's so cool. Oh! Because <laughs> I, I remember the interview so well. Did you hear that, so guys? Well. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I, I remember the interview so well because I think it ran a bit longer than it should have. Like, we were actually just speaking and speaking and speaking. Yeah. And so, I mean, it's, it's one of my favorite interviews I've had. Oh! Yeah, that just, made me feel special. <laughs> so, I mean... In in the past year, you know, Omar Laji has been a big worker. My career has grown from where it was at that time. It's gone to a whole higher level, and we thank God for that. Thank my management, everyone, my label, everybody that's been working with me, you know, that made everything possible. So, I mean, within that time, there's been a lot of, yo, YC, you need to come to the UK. Oh, YC, nah, we you need you out here. YC, YC, YC. So, I mean, we did a lot of things. Most of last year I was traveling. I went to East Africa, South Africa, yeah. West Africa. So I mean, what better way to kick off the new year than to you know come out here? Yeah, of course, one hundred percent. I appreciate the people that have been appreciating my music and yeah, know, everyone is a big fan. Yeah, <laughs> last time last time I was here, we did just London and Birmingham, but I thank God that we're able to grow from just two two cities to from uh, we've done Newcastle, yeah. we had London over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, on Thursday we have Luton, Friday Birmingham, and Saturday Ooh. Manchester. Wow! Hey, so that's like that's from, two, crazy. from two to five cities. We wow! Thank, that must make you feel really like good about yourself. We doesn't thank it? the Lord. We thank the Lord. <laughs> All the time. All the time. <laughs> What's the feedback the so far? Like with the. I mean, it's it's been so amazing. You know, Newcastle was actually mind blowing because what I was expecting was like you know the African crowd, but when I when we got to you know Bon Bar, there was there was. Those white people. White people. Ah, yeah. oh, in both. Yeah, they are yeah, enjoying the. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, just, it's not just it's not just white people in the crowd just standing and you know moving. People actually yeah. singing along and you know it shows that these people are actually familiar with who you are. Mm. Nice. So I mean that was a really really I felt like an international superstar. Ah! You, you you are international. Talking about yeah. international, um, I want to play the next track by uh, DJ Consequence yeah. in events, and then this is produced by BBK. Gee. How was BBK. like that's a that's a Papa International movie. Yeah, like, yeah. What was that? How did it all come about? I mean, you know, BBK, BBK is my elder brother, same same mom, same dad. He yeah. produced, he, I work with, I've been working with him the longest. Yeah. And, you know, anytime I want to explore something new, he's my go-to guy because he understands me the most. Yeah. And, I listen to a lot of UK music. Yeah. I enjoy great music. I yeah. enjoy I enjoy the gigs, the Skeptors, the Chipmunks, the Steph London's Crepton Corner. Like I'm very familiar with the music scene now. Nice. Yeah. So when he when he came up with the beat, when I was like, yo man, let's let's do something grimy. Yeah. Thank God. And not a lot of African yeah. yeah. So that. I mean, he, he <laughs> did I mean? it. He did it, and he came out really, really magnificent. And the funny thing about Consequence, get like this song, I was in the club one night. Yeah. And we hadn't put out the song. Like it was still, you know, in the studio. One of those songs in the kitchen, and mm. the song comes on in the club. And at that night, it was Consequence I was playing. So for yeah. some funny reason, Tiny my CEO had sent him the song to listen. Yeah. And he saw that I was in the club that night, so he just dropped it. Yeah. And at first, I was panicking because I don't like my music leaking or anything <laughs> like that. So, but after some time, he told me that oh, you Tiny sent him the song. So I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. And he was one of the few people that actually appreciated it. And we were like, okay, I'll give you the song. And it was he put it out. We shot the video and. Funny enough, it actually did very well. Nice. It did very well. Oh, uh, that's a, that's a massive international movement, and I'm really proud of you, literally. So, guys, this is Inner Benz. I hope you guys enjoy it. Consequence. Consequence. Real grind. You know what I'm saying? And we've, we've, we've a little bit of garbage as well in it. Yeah, I kind of like that stills. I can't lie. Oh my god, it actually <laughs> makes me speak all like like a grime star now. Jeez. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, hold tight. That song, man. Literally. Um, obviously, Marie wants to ask. Okay, this is the Marie Deep session, yeah? So it's about to be real deep for a minute. Mm. I hope you can handle it. I need a live So practice. this is going to be one You need minute. a what? It can only practice. be one minute. So you have to answer fast. One minute. Okay. One minute. You Marie, take it away. All right. So, you know, we know you're all good and stuff with your music and everything. So how are you in a relationship style? Are you in a relationship, basically? I'm in a relationship with my music. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know that 
that was gonna come. How? Does that mean, you know, How any, did I know? Regardless, regardless of anything, regardless of anything, you know, as a musician, I mean, music definitely is your first love, yeah. consciously or unconsciously, because you know you could be in bed with the woman of your dreams, or when it's time to get on stage, or when it's time to get in the studio, or when it's time to get work done, you will leave the bed <laughs> from to go. the woman. Yeah. <laughs> so music definitely. You can ask women that are dating artists or men, people that are dating artists or people that are dating craft. You know, people that are into entertainment and all that. Your job always comes first. So when people say they're married to the music or in a relationship with the music, it actually is that. So I have a. <laughs> I don't want to say my man. I don't want to say I have a main chick that's a side chick to the music. But you know, I mean. Okay, music. so who's your? Is there a second love after the music? No. <laughs> I've already answered that question. You know, so, those those who know that know. I've answered the question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was it, it 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 was it was getting hot. I, I I I see I see he does he doesn't want to be grilled. So I'm just I'm, I'm just. I leaving. really want to know. I, 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 I actually, actually actually want, want to know. know. I want, I want to know. To. Is there it, actually a love interest in the UK? Like, have you come to the UK and have, you've seen I mean, that you one know, girl? I mean, girls with... love me and I love them too. <laughs> <laughs> but is there a particular one that you're like, hmm, hmm? Nah, 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 nah. Who's your daddy? Who's, <laughs> your, <son>? <laughs> Who's your mommy? <laughs> Who's your mommy? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, let's not dream him too much though. He, like, it's, guys, obviously, girls. I mean, there's a lot of. Obviously, I know interest. He, there's a lot of interest. He's saying he's in love with his music, so if you can come inside it. I mean, you know, if you're a musician, though, that like, there's enough space for that, then. Hey. Okay. Hey. All That's right. I'm actually, I'm actually into women that are like you know, actively into music. You don't have yeah. to be like a singer or anything. You yeah. know, just someone I can share music with. Someone right. that can just hit me up and be like, "Yo, there's a song I heard. I think you sh- you'd like to listen to oh, it." Yeah, I see where he's going there because generally people find it difficult to yeah. be in a relationship with someone who doesn't really get exactly. the industry. You don't get, yeah, not, not even the industry. You don't you don't have that love for music. So yes. When when you call me up and I say yo I'm in the studio I have to finish this song and you're gonna be like oh you don't even yeah, have time for yeah, me. Yeah. No, you, you want you want somebody <laughs> that you say yo I need to finish this song. And she's like oh I want to hear it as soon as you're done. Oh nice. You know, then, I see yes. I see I see where yeah, I see where. Exactly. Hey don't mean you can pretend though. Don't hey pretend. don't, don't be pretend. bringing nonsense okay. songs. Ah baby did you hear this one? Cause I want nonsense with this one now. Ah, you don't like this song? I like it. <laughs> Follow me. Go and sit down. You are sleeping on your bicycle. Hashtag YC said it. <laughs> oh, no, that's crazy. I, I really want to talk. Okay, let's end the girlfriend talk now. I'm sure there's a lot of girls that are lining up. They're like, oh, damn. We need to talk I about don't like the, music. the song that actually <laughs> made us go really mad. Crazy. So, and we call him Mr. Jagaban. New school Jagaban. Mate, that song... I don't, it blew to another, another place. Yeah. Planet. It, it went, Planet. It's, it's, it came to a point where a lot of people, I feel like they wanted to work with you after like, that know, song. So, you know, yeah, did they, you they, ever do a remix to it? Yeah, there, there was a remix with Olamide. Yes. And the, 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 the fun thing about that was, you know, as soon as we put out the song, there were yeah. a lot of people that were like, yo, you need to get Olamide on the remix. So at that time I hadn't met him. I didn't know Olamide. I'd seen him oh, around. Oh really? You look like yeah, you look was, really like. Yeah, there was there was no personal relationship. It was just you know Olamide is someone that you know everyone knows Olamide. Yeah. So we were working on how to get to him or get to his manager. You know, make the remix happen. And out of nowhere, he just casually tweets on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, nice. Jack, he he uh, what he was he actually said. Jagaban and one other song, you know, he was feeling the, song, the two songs and he was open to do a remix. Eesh. Just like that. Eesh. And, you know, he tweeted like. out on a Saturday, on the Monday I was at his studio and we wrapped it up. Oh, no. Nah. That is... I love it. I love and he's, he's a really, 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 really... He's humble, guy. isn't he? Like, he's yeah. humble. You know, a lot of people listen to his music and think that, you know, he's... Psycho, or, you know, exactly. <laughs> but he's extremely chill. He's extremely yeah. calm, and he's one of the few people I look up to, not just because of the music, because of his leadership value. Like, yeah. he is a true leader in yeah. every sense of the word. So, big yeah. up to Olamide. Every, I, I always like to big up Olamide every chance I get. Yeah. yeah. Would you say he's definitely your favorite right now? Yeah, he's one of them. There you go. I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Look at yourself. I like yeah, it. <laughs> I love it. So, guys, this is Jack of Ireland. You guys enjoy it. Yes, yes. Oh, May. God. If you heard what YC said, I don't want to bait him up, but. No, I don't want any bait hype. <laughs> my jaws, you my jaws are hurting. You don't want to do that. You don't yeah, let's not bait it up. Let's not bait it up, but. I hope you guys enjoyed Jagaban. Obviously, a lot of people want to know, aka Shay, what is the meaning of Jagaban? Everybody's been wanting to know. <clears throat> so, Jagaban is is the title currently of. I think there's only two Jagabans right yeah. now: the original Jagaban and the new school Jagaban. Right. I am the new school Jagaban. Ah. The original Jagaban is the former Lagos State Governor, uh, uh. Senator Bola Metinubu. Okay. He got that title uh, when he was still a senator, when he was still a young politician right. from the Emir of Kano. Right. So Jagaban is actually of northern origin and traditionally means leader of warrior. Ah. So, so over the years, Sina Sinubu was, you know, like a very influential figure. Most people just watered it down, and you know, if you're a big man, you know, everybody's informally like that's a Jagaban, like ah, Jagaban, babao. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so my own take on it was, you know, if you work hard and you ball hard, yeah, yeah, Jagaban. That's it. That's it. Obviously, I do want to ask a couple more questions before we play the ultimate recent song, which is, like I said, is something is you know, ah, Shay, what type Shay? Listen, you especially will love this track. Um, I do want to ask, what are the sort of challenges like? Obviously, people see Afrobeat artists, oh, they're living a life, mm. oh, they've got the mansions, they've got the cars. What was that the rough part of being a musician for you? I mean, the rough part basically was just trying to get people to actually listen and pay attention. Because, you know, I personally knew I had a lot to offer. My, my, my management, my label knew, like, you know, YC has this, but trying to get that attention because, like, in Nigeria, every Every, like almost every day there's new music coming out new artists coming up on the scene new talented artists coming up on the scene so you have to like fight for your space and when you get it you have to you know keep i'd say you have to be consistent so for me just that 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 point of crossing from unknown to just no i wouldn't say recognition just at least to get people to pay attention to right. okay oh, there's this dude why is he and he's making his music right. so for me that one because I, I started out being like a rapper's rapper I was all about the Lil Wayne like yeah yeah uh, uh, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of thing but you know luckily for me I realized early on that you have to make this music relatable to your media environment like there the go. people around you and you can't be making it to your music in Lagos exactly it, 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 it doesn't sit well so I was able to infuse that's why I, I try to infuse as much you know your about as much pigeon and right. peace into anything I put out so right. everybody gets you know feel a moment so that's it for me finding that point before I found myself t- at that extent I was just you know like oh what's this what's yeah I was I was trying to be someone I wasn't wasn't right so, but, but I, that's I, one thing I, I really rate you for saying that because not a lot of people say that I was trying to be something I wasn't that is yeah. a key thing do you know what I'm saying there's a lot of artists out there trying to be something that they're not and obviously you kind of found yourself so when you found yourself what was the that's, that's atmosphere right. That's when everything, just, you know, everything just fell in place. It's like every time I go into the studio, I know, okay, this is what I have to do on this beat. Yeah. This is what will suit this beat right. perfectly. So for me, music has sort of become a lot more fun. Like I'm always looking forward to recording and making new music. 100. And, like the best way to make, like I say this to a lot of people, everyone's like, yo, your advice to uh, anyone trying to do I'm like, the best way to make a hit record is to keep recording. There's no there's no special formula. Jagaban, when we recorded Jagaban, I woke up in the morning, I hadn't even brushed my teeth. I, even, <laughs> I hadn't even had my bath. I was I'm lucky enough to have a studio at home, so yeah. anytime I have an idea I can easily just stroll from the bedroom to the studio and you know, yeah. put it down and it, it happens anytime. Omar Alaji was recorded in a hotel. Yeah. So you kinda so, had those hits where it was like continuous, continuous. Yeah. So you have to keep you have to just keep Keep recording, keep recording. Practice yeah. makes perfect. Keep recording. That's yeah. it. That's Staying the only consistent. formula. Yeah. There you go. And also, I do wanna um, do the last question. Like, what? I want you to tell us like final words of how people can actually become who you, who you are now. Because there's a lot of 
Afrobeat size, especially like the rappers that are really yeah. trying to get that recognition, do you know what I'm saying? What can yeah. you say to them? I mean, first of all, I don't think that there is, like, for, if you're trying to be successful, you know, you shouldn't try and be anybody else, first of all, because... I'm 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 someone that's inspired a lot by immediate experiences like what I see around me. And most of what shaped me as a person, aside the music, you know, my character and everything is is it goes as far back to my upbringing like growing up as a child. So unless you know you were raised by my mom in my house <laughs> and you went through all what I went through, you yeah. really, you really can't make music the way YC does or you really can't be YC. Yeah. So it's left to you to, you know, dig deep and find it funny enough, it's I don't think there's you know, first of all it, it has to go like far back down to your childhood to actually be creative. You know, there's there's things that would have set the way there's there's stones that would have been set in place in your life unconsciously that, you know, would play a very, very important role in the future. So it's, it has to be in you first of all that's where the talent comes in but at the end of the day talent is not everything you still also have to work hard you still have to build yourself as a person character wise you have to have patience you know these things take time I've been in the industry for a while but most people think my career started in 2015 but yeah, of course, yeah. it's been it's been long before that so it goes to show you that patience is very important like if if you rush it you know, as quickly as it comes, as quickly as it goes. So you just have to understand that God also is very, very important. When God says your time, it's your time. So. There you go. Love it. it. I love it. No, that was... I, I feel like you definitely know what you're about and who YC is. And you definitely have that distinctive sound. And you also have, like, distinctive style as well. So... I don't know. I'm for me personally, I'm starstruck because I know you're very hard working, you're very consistent as well, and, and you're able, you're very humble as well, and you're able to kind of mix into different crowds, which is like a crazy skill to have. So, oh my god, no, no, literally. You are definitely an inspiration. So thank you so much. Thank, like, thank you, thank you as show. well. Thank you as well. It's crazy. Thank so you. I do want you to introduce the newest song. That's out featuring Ricardo Banks, yeah. which is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's been picking up a lot, and I feel good about this feeling like, yo, we have another hit record. Like, we, we, <laughs> hey, 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 and, we, and another, we, one. another, another <laughs> one. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you know, yeah, it's your boy YC. Excuse yeah. my voice, please. <laughs> <laughs> I just woke up a couple of hours ago. Ooh. Yeah. That's how you know he's a hard worker. I wasn't right? sleeping, but you know that's just <laughs> that's just that's just what we tell the press. Right? Yeah, I was sleeping. Like, I just woke up. Like, so you're about to check out my brand new single, Link Up, featuring Ricardo Banks, Supernatural Flexing. Tanya Tame it, baby. It's your boy YC. Don't say you know my name. Pretty baby, you tiny, supernatural flexing. Bad girl, them wanna link up.